three from three, Thank the man mounting still. continues. Tyson, feeling confident tonight? You certainly look very, very relaxed. Yeah, I'm uh, relaxed, feeling confident. Uh, I've got a good reason to be confident. And 3-0 oh, three knockouts, so tonight it's going to be 4-0 oh, with four knockouts. So um, that's the best I can do, to be honest. <laughs> Lee Swaby, uh, hold any fears for you? Obviously, everyone knows him for putting Enzo Mack down in, in the year 2000. That of any concern to you whatsoever? Past history on boxers doesn't mean anything. It's how they box on the night against the opponent they've got. Um, if you're going off other people who he's fought, then you can go on all night. But he hasn't fought Tyson Fury yet, and um, he doesn't pose no threat to me as of yet, anyway. You've been up for it this week, and you've had a little bit of a tickle at uh, David Price, maybe suggesting that he hasn't got the chin uh, to make it as a pro. Uh, caused a few ripples with those comments. Uh, yeah, to be honest, uh, in professional boxing, as everyone knows, in the heavyweight division, you cannot go in a boxing ring and not get it. And I'm confident as soon as he gets hit on the chin, he's over. Because it, with how much, in the amateurs, he had a big head guard and like shock absorbent gloves, and he was going down every time he got it clear then. So um, now he's got the little 10 ounce gloves on, no head guard, and the people's watching him. So <coughs> it's um, game over every time he gets it on the tash. You love this, don't you? And you've got no intention of doing it quietly. I've got no intention of doing it quietly. I'm going to make a big wave, and I'm hoping to do that. So um, things going well at the moment, yeah. Good luck tonight. Thanks very much. At 18 stone. Lee Sway be telling his corner that he's finding it difficult to relax, difficult to get into the fight. Well, he needs to start relaxing pretty soon. Tyson Fury now certainly winning the opening round and probably taking the second as well, Duke. Yep. Yes, two rounds to Fury. You know, Sway be not doing too bad. You know, he's still looking game enough. He's still, still on his feet. Still trying to find a way to win this fight. Swave is making a fight of it, though. He did get through with a few good shots. Right-hand lead, the southpaw jab, giving Tyson Fury a few problems. Fury, I suspect, probably learned more in the 30 or so rounds that he sparred with Ola Afalabi than he has done in his first three paid contests so far. Swave taking the punch as well. Just maybe not doing a bad job of, of tucking up, but Fury's got quite good hand speed. You know, puts two, three, four punch combinations together in succession. Good learning fight thus far for Fury. Yeah, he's learning more from this as he has some of his opponents prior to this Step in. a couple of who could uh, politely be described as a little bit on the roly-poly side in his last two fights and Swaby as a few can attest to over the years can certainly handle himself he knows his way around the boxing ring Hand from Fury. Swaby marking up a little bit around the right eye. Not too much coming back from Swaby at this stage. No, Tyson Fury just working him over in this round, doing pretty much exactly what he wants to do. And a much more dominant round for me by Fury. So maybe all the time looking for that left hand, but it's thrown with more of an air of desperation than it was earlier on. So he's got to punch back because the referee won't hesitate to stop this one. John Keane having a good look at him. It's all Fury at this stage. Big round for Tyson Fury. And not too much back from Swaby now. That's a big right hand. Swaby wants to hold on and buy a few seconds. Yeah, and for the first time, you saw Swaby deliberately grab Fury. Oh, that's a big round for Tyson Fury. His trainer, Huey Fury, looks across to see what sort of damage has been done in the other corner to Lee Swaby, and he knows that it's going in the direction of the big man once more. Soften him, right? Listen to me? Yeah. 
Keep at him. Don't let him stand and rest. If you let him rest, he's pulling his wind together. Hard shots. Turn Letting his punches right. flow, wasn't he, in that third round, Duke? It was quite impressive by Fury for me. Little clusters on the inside there, both hands. Watch this right hand. I mean, that is a... That's, that's quality, that's, isn't it? That's very good. It's very good. Last 30 seconds, he's as dead as a chip. Give it to you. OK? Yeah, yeah. Fits the butcher's down. Shield! Down Come, shield! Moving into the fourth round. Tyson Fury has yet to be taken the distance in a contest. It's a sixth round of this. Well, you know, there's a first time for everything. Might happen tonight. Lee Swave is still trying to step inside, trying to nail his man with that left hand. I do think there's a marked improvement with Fury. He has to. He has to exercise patience against this kind of an opponent. Can't take him out with one shot. So we systematically try to break him down. Swabe is a much better fighter than the likes of Daniel Parrott, who Fury fought in his last contest. See, Swabe was hurt with a body shot there in that last little counter punch that uh, he threw. He was hurt with a body shot, but managed to disguise it. So Fury hasn't seen that. Plenty of the old pro about Lee Swaby. You can see from the way his mouth's hanging open now that he's really feeling this. Trying to counter off the ropes, he did get through with one, but here comes another sustained attack from Fury, and the referee again is looking closely at Lee Swaby. But Swaby just, you know, tucking his, his, right arm, his left arm underneath Fury's right arm and just pulling him in tight. Just buying a little bit of time. All right, he's hurt, he's tired. We're just doing enough to buy himself a little bit of time. Trying to unload with these shots now, Fury. You can hear him grunting with effort as he unloads. Desperate for on there. Yeah, he's desperate for a knockout, Fury. Doesn't want to get careless, though. Swaby's still in there. Those body shots are hurtful shots, but Swaby taking them well, showing commendable bravery. They just turned Fury in the ropes there quite quite comfortably. He's, he's, hurt. Trying, he's trying to sucker him in, isn't he? He's yeah. still just trying to find that one big punch to really test Fury, who incidentally claims, and I've no reason to disbelieve him, and I certainly wouldn't dis certainly wouldn't make an argument with him anyway, but he says he's never been on the floor in any sort of fight, either in the gym or anywhere else, and never even taken a standing eight count. I tell you what, these are good punches from Fury because he's given himself a little bit of an angle on the inside to punch Freedy with both hands. Lee Swaby will be able to tell oh. us just what he makes of this. Well, hopefully he will. But I tell you what, that right uppercut that Fury just threw there was enough to take your head clean off your shoulders. But Swaby's still on his feet. That's commendable. People out there who say that Fury doesn't punch as hard as some. He's throwing a lot of them. And you try telling this fella, he knows he can punch a bit. I think they're going to pull him out. I think it may be, it may be finishing here. They're having a look at him. Yep, the fight's over. Lee Swaby's had enough. And Tyson Fury has won the fight. Merciful.